Hey guys, this is Kate, and I just want to show you how to make a quick and easy Valentine's Day card. So I'm just starting with a white card base here. It's just a standard size card, and I have also have a cover sheet that's going to go on top of that, you know, that I'm going to work on first. No, I'm sorry. I'm not doing that in this card. I'm actually going to cut a piece of pattern paper to cover the whole front of the card. And this is some crepe paper, paper crush. It's from last year's um, Valentine's Day collection. And I cut it the wrong way so that the hearts were going the wrong way. So I had to recut it to make it go vertical because I decided to do a vertical card. So, you know, sometimes those things happen and you have to make do and adjust. And I'm going to cover the entire front of the card with this pattern paper and then I'm going to take a card base as I like to call it which is just going to be a piece of the Nina solar white card stock and I'm going to cut it to be a half an inch smaller than the actual card front and that's what I'm going to be doing my stamping and building the card on so that way if I make a mistake I can just cut another card front and the base is still you know intact so I'm just cutting it down to size there, and then I'm going to stamp all over it. So I'm taking this Market Street Stamp Diagonal um, background stamp, and I'm going to use some American Crafts Blush ink. I love this ink. The only problem with it is it's really hard to clean off your stamps, but it's a really great juicy ink. So when I use background stamps, I like to apply the paper to the stamp, and then I just use this piece of scrap paper to rub over it. You could use a brayer if you have one. So I'm just gathering some different pattern papers. I'm going to cut a bunch of confetti out and I'm looking for papers that are double sided. Most 6x6 paper pads are not double sided and I didn't want to have a bunch of white so I just searched for some that were double sided and these Echo Park um, dots and stripes papers are perfect for making confetti because they are double sided. I'm also going to cut some like larger um, hearts as well and I'm just using these little Martha Stewart paper punches that I've had for a pretty long time. I'm also going to take a couple of papers from the crepe paper collection, the 12 by 12. I think I actually just take one because I wanted some red in there and then I'm also going to take this big dot border punch that creates just a ton of little dot confetti. It's really quick and easy for getting confetti done quickly. And I like to make my own confetti that's specific to the project because then it all matches really well. So I just think it's really a really good way to use up scraps and it's a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna um, cut a red heart here because I wanted kind of a bigger piece of red in there and then I'm going to decide what size little glassine envelope that I want to use on this card front. And I go with the bigger one because I kind of want it to be the focal point. I like to use a doily as kind of like a grounding place for the confetti. And usually I paint them with watercolors, but this one I'm just going to leave it white because I just, I like to that kind of clean, simple look. So I'm just going to fill this little baggie with the confetti that I've just punched out which is a lot easier said than done, especially if it's staticky, <laughs> what tends to stick to you. And I'm going to fuss with this a little bit and try to figure out, you know, the more full it is, the less it's going to slide around so you can kind of place things better. But then the more full it is, the more bulk it adds to your card. So I use some vellum adhesive here to um, attach that down. And you really can't see it, which is nice because you don't want to see a big line of um, adhesive on your envelope there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do next. <laughs> oh, I'm going to attach the base, or the card front down to the base because I'm not going to be adding any brads or anything, so I don't need it to be separate anymore. And I think I'm going to fuss with it some more. I'm going to try to figure out if I want to add a sentiment um, or what I want to do is to, you know, let me know what kind of card it is. I pull out some brads. I pull out these little epoxy things I think I'm going to use, which I don't end up using. I wanted to show you there. When things come in packaging like that, I like to adhere it to the back, and then I don't have to leave it in the, um, you know, original packaging. 
but I still know what it is and it's not just loose. So I just glue it down to the, um, the cardboard backing that it comes with. And then I don't have to put it back in the little bags. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. I pull out some labels. These are from an Etsy seller. I can't remember her name. I'll have to, I'll try to remember to look that up, but I just pull out all these different labels, some Martha Stewart labels. Um, I'm thinking I might use this gold because I think it looked really cool in there. I will end up using that in a card, just not on this one. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe I put a shipping tag behind it. I'm not quite sure. I like the look of the manila with it, but I end up going with this pink shipping tag. And now I can't really figure out where I want to place it. I had a hard time with this card. And then I realized that that envelope needs to be going the other way. So I placed the shipping tag, and you know how you just have those moments where you're like, yep, that's it. And then I commit to it. Then I realized that my doily is actually got pebs two layers. So I had to glue both those down. I glue this little pink shipping tag down, and then I'm going to add the envelope going horizontally across the card, which I think turned out to be a much better placement and you know configuration for the card. And now I need something to let you know it's a Valentine's Day card. So I'm thinking about putting the hearts there. I'm thinking about adding a sentiment. And then I decide to use these Studio Calico wood veneer letters and just leave them plain because I like the look of the wood. So I'm just going to glue those down with some glossy accents and fiddle with them a little bit as to how I want to place them. And then I'm finished. I'm calling that done. I just take the envelope, make sure everything fits, and then I decide to add a few little hearts to the top left-hand corner of the envelope so it matches and I'll remember that that envelope goes with that card. And that's going to be it. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I'd love to see what kind of projects you're doing for Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.